Okay, so let's keep your math skills nice and sharp by putting them to work to solve this lovely math word problem. And matter of fact, let me go ahead and read you the problem. It is the following. It takes 80 turns to close a valve. You turn the valve 15 times. What percent of the job remains? Okay, so feel free to use a calculator. And if you could figure this out, put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. And then of course, I'm gonna fully explain the solution step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that uh, in the description below. And if you enjoy this content or if it just helps you out, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. So what percent of the job remains? It would be 81.25%. All right, so how'd you do? Well, if you got this right, we must celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face in A plus a 100% and multiple stars so you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a professional certified expert in the area of solving percent math word problems. And uh, they'd be like, yeah, I know percent too. They may not be that impressed, but you know what? Tell them anyways, because uh, you did a great job here. But if you're a little bit confused, if you didn't get this answer, well, don't despair. This is not that difficult of a problem. And let's uh, go ahead and start looking at the solution right now. All right, so here is our problem. And the first thing you always do in any problem in mathematics, especially a math word problem, and uh, any problem just in general, okay, you need to understand the problem. So reading the problem one time is not adequate. I always like to use the rule of three. Read the problem at least three times before you start to do anything, okay? Before you start writing stuff down, just think about the problem. Let your brain kind of get engaged here. So. Uh, we have this valve where it takes 80 turns to close the valve fully. Uh, you turned it 15 times. What percent of the job remains? So, you know, there's different things going on here. So uh, what you need to do is model this information. Okay. Now, uh, some problems are easier to model than others. And uh, the great thing about math is there's creativity involved here, right? You can model this in the way that you see the problem and someone else can model it in a way that they see the problem. Uh, but as long as it's an effective model for you individually and someone else could understand it, then that's all you need. Okay. So try to, you know, decipher what's going on here visually if you can. Okay. So that's always a good start because when you see the problem, you oftentimes can see the solution. So let me go ahead and show you my kind of interpretation of the problem. So here is a valve. Now you don't have to be as fancy as I am here with my little, you know, sketches. But you know, draw something that represents a valve. It could be a simple uh, something like that. So here is my valve. And this is 100% open. I know to fully close this valve, it's going to require 80 turns, right? So let me just go back to the problem. It takes 80 turns to close a valve. All right. So that's what I'm kind of assuming what they're talking about. Now it also says that. Uh, I turn or you turn the valve 15 times. Okay, so obviously uh, we uh, are not done closing the valve. And I guess it should be clear in this problem that, you know, we want to uh, complete, you know, fully close the valve. Now that's not uh, totally clear. And maybe I should have made this uh, clear, but what percent of the job remains? Uh, you know, we are talking about closing a valve. So you always want to kind of uh, simplify a math problem and you should take the liberty to kind of you know um, assume some things and when in doubt especially for those of you that are students if you're like mm, let me just clarify this raise your hand i'm pretty sure your teacher will be like yes that's what the problem means uh, they shouldn't give you any uh, issue if you want to clarify the problem at least most teachers okay but again now with something like in math word problems you always need to kind of um don't look too much past what's going on, all right? Don't overcomplicate the problem. Always assume the simplest version of the problem, more or less. Okay, this is kind of general advice. Okay, so here is my, um, our valve. I turned it uh, 15 turns. Now, of course, you know, I'm closing it, uh, but we still have some uh, room to go here, right? So this is kind of the situation. Now, the question is what? 
uh, what percent of the job remains? Well, I still have to, you know, turn this thing some more times before it's fully closed. So this is a kind of a good start. Now, again, your model could look different than mine. As long as it's effective, uh, that's what counts. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the next step. And we, uh, you know, you have to start building a uh, plan to get to the solution, all right? So I'm like, all right, I got some information from the problem. I know what the question is, but I'm gonna have to use the information from the problem to get more information, all right? That's <laughs> what we're gonna do here. So here's my valve. It's 100% open. It takes 80 turns to close it. So I've only, uh, uh, or only turned the valve 15 turns. So how many more turns do I have to go to fully close this valve, right, to complete the job? Well, it's going to be 80, all right, minus 15, okay? So if 80 is what I needed to start with, but I only did 15 turns out of the 80 that I need to do, so 80 minus 15 is 65. So I have to do another 65 more turns to fully close this valve. Okay, so that, you know, is, you know, we're getting closer to the question or answer the question, which of course is what? Uh, what percent? We're going to be dealing with percent, not how many turns. So this would be easy. Like how many turns are necessary to close the valve? How many more turns? Well, that's 65. So now we have to start thinking in terms of percent. And I'm going to show you that after I show you this, which is, of course, an invitation for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I wouldn't ask if it wasn't that important. This really helps me help uh, well, it helps me accomplish my mission, my goal, if you will, and that is to reach as many people as possible uh, that are interested in math, just like to do math for fun, but particularly those people that are struggling math. Um, you know, there's a big, uh, unfortunate uh, crisis. It's actually been going on, but it's been really uh, rough. There's a pretty big teacher, sh a teacher shortage out there. There's always been a challenge to get uh, highly qualified uh, math teachers. And, you know, if you're watching this and you're like, you know what, I just need someone to explain this stuff, well, uh, I'm trying to connect with you as well. By you subscribing, it really does help me reach more people. Matter of fact, it, every subscriber I look at as a person in my virtual classroom. So thank you so much. And if you're going to subscribe, might as well hit that notification uh, button as well so you can get my latest videos. Thank you. Now back to the problem. All right. So what is the question here? Okay. Well, the question is, what percent of the job remains? Okay. We have to be very precise on what's being asked. We turn the valve 15 times, but we need to figure out what percent of the job remains. Now, we have a couple numbers here, and we have 15, we have 65, and we have 80. So we need to express, uh, you know, the answer to this question, what percent of the job remains with these numbers. So what is the proper setup here? Okay, because a lot of you uh, could potentially set this up incorrectly. Well, the right answer is the following. Okay, this is the question we need to ask. 65 is what percent of 80? Okay, because what is the question? What percent of the job remains? Well, this right here, this part is what, uh, this is what remains, right? This is the part that we're looking for. This is the remaining part of the job, not this part. So we wouldn't want to go 15 over 80. That's the percent that you've already, uh, you know, finished, okay? That's incorrect. So the percent of the job that remains is going to uh, involve this number, 65. All right, so this is the question that we need to answer. 65 is what percent of 80? So let's go ahead and take a look at this right now. All right, when it comes to percent problems, an excellent model to think about is the part out of the whole, okay? Uh, let me go ahead and just show you a real quick example. Let's suppose we have a pizza here and uh, uh, there's one slice of pizza that you know we're gonna you know, give away, all right? Somebody eats, so what does this one slice represent? Well, what's the part here? Well, that's one part out of the, a total of four. That's the whole. Okay, so this is one fourth. So when you're solving a percent problem, a part out of the whole model is very, very good. So uh, what part out of 80, okay, 80 is our total amount of turns required. What part do we already do? We did 65, okay? So now we got to take that 65 and divide it by 80. And of course, you can use your calculator. That is going to be 0.8125. But the question is what percent? Okay. Well, we're not done yet, right? 
So what we have to do is take this decimal and turn it into a percent. Okay, so in this case, one fourth, uh, we would have the decimal uh, 0.25, or we could just simply multiply by 100. So anytime you want to um, uh, express a uh, fraction or decimal um, as a percent, just multiply by 100. So that's what we're going to have to do. And multiplying by 100, the effective result of that is moving the decimal point over two places to the right. So here we have our point uh, 0.8125. If we move that uh, two places to the right, we're going to take that decimal and uh, turn it into a percent. So that's 81.25%. But again, uh, this is just the result of multiplying by 100. Okay, so 81.25% is the uh, you know represents the amount of work we need to do to close this valve but to hopefully okay you get some sort of appreciation about the details in a problem okay it's very easy to read a prom incorrectly okay i can tell you as a math teacher that has graded uh 10 million well maybe not that many but listen you know thousands upon thousands and i made all the mistakes as well okay it's easy to make mistakes doing, um, you know, anything that you're not highly focused in, right? It could be, it could be anything. It's not just math, but math is really a game of focus, right? And of course, you need to have the skills involved already. But even if you have the skills, you have to stay focused. So if you are trying to improve in math, or if you're trying to learn in math, the worst thing you could do is have your piece of paper right here and your pencil, your pen and your cell phone right next to you and like the TV on and you know uh, that's not that's not good you're going to have to get yourself in a focused environment but you'll be surprised when you're in a highly focused quiet state and you're thinking only about that problem if you can get, if you can kind of develop that discipline uh, your brain really just starts taking off like a supercomputer, right? So this is the way you want to work. But uh, anyways, this level of math, this is kind of basic math percent. If you need help with, um, you know, like percent or basic mathematics, let me uh, recommend a few things. One, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel uh, that can help you out. Uh, but I would highly suggest taking a look at my math foundations. It's kind of a little mini boot camp course for basic math. And I would include percent. Uh, decimal, uh, decimals, uh, fractions, uh, place value, et cetera, et cetera. You'll find a link to it in the description below. But uh, anyways, with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.